Yo, what's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Just LaFleur. We get the LaFleur Lounge with it. Figured I'd do something a little different. Shout out to Cuz. She introduced me to these little mukbang things, and I uh, kind of like it. I mean, you know, when I was watching. So, today we're going to talk about just the dangers of LA and being in the rap game. As far as a rapper, entertainer, black entertainers because that's really what it is um black entertainers in la a little bit of entertainers fault a little bit of just la being a savage town that i don't respect um it's just getting crazy man so we can pop a those y'all see it i got the um seafood platter as y'all see we got a fish Oysters, little crab, little scrimps, you know what I'm saying? So, we eating good in the neighborhood. So, I guess we'll start off. We all know about a couple days ago what happened with um, PB Rock. Sad story, man. Sad story. PB Rock been living in LA for like five years. So, it's kind of like, he know the protocol, right? He should. He should know the protocol. And it just goes to show you can live there for five years. You can live in L.A. all your life. The people in L.A., they trained. They're trained. We don't see too many L.A. rappers dying like that. I mean, we seen Draco the Ruler, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I hate saying stuff like this, but the drug got ruler earned his death. He put he put a lot of pressure on niggas. He talked a lot of shit. And, you know, fresh out of prison and being a life sentence, I think he probably should have respected the position that he was in when he got out. You know, he got out, had a new life. But we'll talk about that another day. We're going to talk about PNB Rock. Damn, this shit hit. We're going to talk about PNB Rock. as well as talking about Sauce Walker, right? The reason I'm bringing up Sauce Walker is because we've seen Sauce Walker just had a situation the week before PNB Rock last week where he ran into a dude that tried to rob him. This LA, apparently the EDD and the scamming and shit. Now I'm from Atlanta, from the Atlanta area, right? Atlanta is a hustle city. I wouldn't say Atlanta, up until the pandemic, I wouldn't say Atlanta is a violent city. Now, don't get me wrong. There's violence in Atlanta. Don't get me wrong. But compared to other cities, we more of a make money city. Business first. Rap industry party. We might not all get along, but usually it's quiet. But things have changed. We've seen with Lucci and Thug, a public beef. All that, right? Think about LA. I feel like LA is different from a lot of cities because there's a lot of politics involved in LA. Not only is a lot of politics, like that shit is crazy. They're not even waiting for you to come outside to rob your ass now. They're not even waiting for you to come outside. It might be too much competition for real. They might literally be like, shit, if I sit out here and wait, on this nigga to come outside, it might be some other jackers outside trying to kill this nigga. I gotta kill him and get his jury. They're not even just trying to rob you no more. They're they gonna kill you. It's like a badge of honor. And that's the sad part. So, I say that to say to Sauce Walker. Well, last week, Sauce Walker, I'm gonna just keep it real. I felt like he clout chased. Somebody tried to rob him. He fought him off. A murder happened down the street a few minutes after. He fought some niggas off. I'm assuming that he thought that the nigga who got killed was the nigga tried to rob him. So, why not? Claim a free body, right? Problem is, though, the nigga who he beat off of him 
killed somebody else. A good dude that was well respected in the LA community. Yeah. So his main thing was like, I ain't going, I ain't going, which that's respectable. Um, I don't think it's the smartest move, but it's respectable. You made yourself out of it. You made the right decision, obviously. Or I right, looked out for you. And that's a beautiful situation. Um, but whatever, he cloud chased off the body. He ended up coming out. We ended up getting the full story. It just goes to show how dangerous LA is, man. LA is a very dangerous place. And now we got PMB Rock. Now, PMB Rock did an interview with academics about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And there was explaining the dangers of LA. He's explaining how he didn't have two different attempts on some gang shit, some robbery shit. He made it up out of there. He's just playing how he's getting bad vibes in situations. He telling his girlfriend to skirt off. She's not taking it serious. She still wanna go shopping. So it was a good foreshadow of the events that happened. A couple days ago, yesterday, a couple days ago, however many days it was. A couple days ago. And it was just so unfortunate. I mean, we seen Young Blue in the shootout. We seen Pop Smoke accidentally post his address. Some teenage Hoovers came and got him. Botch robbery. LA, we didn't see Biggie Smalls get killed. Um, and more so, just so on and so on. Dollar. It don't matter if you're a big artist, a little artist. Kodak Black got shot in LA. I think it's a thing with LA where it's like a badge of honor if they shoot an actual rapper entertainer my whole situation my whole thing is they don't they don't seem to be telling people they want you to check in we seen Quando rondo they want niggas to check in we ain't seen them make leonardo dicaprio check in excuse me we ain't seen them make other people check in so we just got to be honest with ourselves it's a black thing they want black entertainers, black rappers, not even necessarily entertainers, because they don't want Denzel Washington to check in. You a young rapper in LA, they want you to check in. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate, man. Um PB Rock was moving wrong. Uh last story I'm hearing is that PB Rock was catching a flight. I don't know if his girlfriend was going with him or dropping him off to the airport, but allegedly his girlfriend wanted to stop in Manchester and Maine at the most dangerous, 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 dangerous Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Allegedly that motherfucker over there is like a cemetery already. They already been claiming motherfuckers. Now, we seen the game talk about this. Literally. The game had lyrics in 2007 saying like, essentially, don't go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles lacking with your jury on, because them niggas will kill you. Now in 2006, 2007, and it stands to be true. PNB Rock was lacking. He went there with all his jury on, posted that he had all the jury on. They go there and eat in the middle of the jungle. His girl posted location, even put the pin drop on that motherfucker, right? Now, people are solely blaming her. We seen people like Kodak. Saying that that bitch need to kill herself. We seen all that. People are putting, pinning it on her name. That's the second stage of grief. Blame. 
Can be rock. Somebody figures out where he's at, or maybe somebody drops the low other than his girlfriend. I mean, I can't really put the blame just on her. I think she made a, a bad mistake, but at the same time, we still got to understand that he was in the heart of the hood. Somebody might just been walking by and seen his ass. Somebody behind the register might have tipped somebody off. L.A. is a city full of gang members. They were talking about how niggas work at TSA just to drop the low on a celebrity that's arriving. It's that serious. Clearly, he been moving wrong twice before that. So we can't just put all the blame on the woman. We got to put it on PNB Rock as a leader. As a celebrity, if you got to explain to your girl 37 times, that's what you got to do. You got to keep explaining to your woman that you did it. That look, you can't do shit like this. This your baby mom. She might be a little slow. You got to keep letting her know every time you go out. You, If you don't, you take her phone. So while she does get... Um... A little pushback for her decisions. We also got to talk about the mistakes that PNB Rock made. He made a lot of mistakes. Ice T mentioned up a good point. Ice T said, "Do you ever see LA artists wearing a whole bunch of jewelry?" Him. Game, Kendrick, Dr. Dre, Ice Cube. You don't see them wearing a whole bunch of jewelry. And he's correct. It's too dangerous. You don't see them wearing a lot of jewelry. Now, you go to New York, wear your jewelry. Atlanta for sure. I can speak on Atlanta because I live here. You can wear all the jewelry you want. You can come out of this bitch looking like Slick Rick. You hear me? LA, a different ball game. Very political. City ran by gang infested culture. So I just think that PMB Rock, you made some mistakes, buddy. You made some mistakes and it cost you your life. Unfortunately, my prayers is with you, your daughters, your family. The reason I say this, I brought up Sauce Walker is because I felt like Sauce Walker. Now, I do think that PNB Rock was already the type of person who he wasn't going. But I think that that Sauce Walker shit, being that that shit was still a topic of conversation when that happened and that was in LA, that that shit, excuse me, might have put a battery in PNB Rock's back. When you hear him saying that that shit saved his life, he might have thought that's the way you're sp uh, supposed to move. Excuse me. But unfortunately, not everybody's story is the same. There are some niggas that just come to rob you. There are some niggas that want to kill you too. Badge of honor. They killed him then took this jury off of him. In a crowded restaurant in LA in the middle of the day. Two o'clock. It's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to do more of these mukbangs, man. This shit busting. I ain't going to lie. This shit hitting. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Whose fault was it? Who do y'all blame? What happened? Y'all let me know, man. It's your boy, Big Jess LaFleur. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. And we out, baby. Boop. You are now tuned in to the LaFleur Lounge with your host, Big Jess LaFleur. You are watching a master at work. I'm ready, channel. <laughs> I'm going to channel.